Hair loss is frustrating, especially when every solution feels overpriced or underwhelming. You've tried oils, supplements, maybe even prescriptions, but most treatments either don't work, work but come with side effects, or cost a small fortune. And the longer you wait, the harder it is to recover what's already fading. But one treatment's getting renewed attention, and it's as simple as delivering light to the scalp. Scientists are investigating red light therapy as a potential way to encourage hair regrowth. It sounds futuristic, but some clinical trials suggest it might help regrow hair. In fact, one study demonstrated a 51% increase in hair count. So what's actually happening with light under the skin? And is red light therapy legit or just another wellness trend? Let's break down what the science really says and whether this could actually change your hair story. Hi, I'm Fenella from The Loom Box, a graduate from Stanford University with a Masters of Science, and I have a deep passion for all things red light therapy. So I'm here to help you understand the science and turn it into everyday health. Now, if you've experienced any sort of hair thinning, you know it's more than just cosmetic. It hits our confidence too. That's why my brother's story stuck with me. This is my brother. As a child, he had the thickest hair. Hairline was already receding. He wore a cap everywhere because he felt self-conscious about his hairline. He tried a derma roller, he tried minoxidil. Four months went by and he still saw little to no progress. And by the way, minoxidil usually takes four weeks to see a change, so he would have expected something. And when friends suggested prescription pills, he said no because of the unwanted side effects he'd read about, like anxiety or even sexual dysfunction. Finally, he added another tool, red light therapy just 12 minutes a day. And after three months, not only did his receding hairline stop progressing, but his baby hair started growing back too. And he's not the only one who's experienced this. Science can back it up. Red light therapy has been explored as a non-invasive tool to support the body's natural hair growth cycle without disrupting hormones or requiring recovery time. But how? Well, one proposed mechanism is that red light therapy may activate our mitochondria in our cells. And these are the parts of our cells that make energy. Red light therapy may also support circulation across the body. So when our scalp cells and hair follicle cells have more energy and better circulation, oxygen and nutrients flow more efficiently. And this can encourage dormant hair follicles to re-enter the growth cycle. Now for context, the hair on our scalp is always cycling at any given time our hair follicles are in one of four phases. And around 90% of hairs in a healthy scalp should be in the growth phase, known as the anagen phase. Now thinning hair happens when the shedding phase starts to accelerate above the usual loss of about 50 to 100 hairs per day. This is the exogen phase. There's also the catagen and the telogen phases, and these are transitional or resting phases for our hair follicles. Now our rate of hair shedding naturally accelerates as we get older. I think we all know that. In fact, by age 50, about 50% 50 of men and women report some sort of hair thinning. But it's not just age that can affect it. Hormone shifts, nutrient deficiencies, stress, or other lifestyle factors, as simple as wearing your hair in a tight ponytail, a bit like I'm doing right now, can affect our hair health. Now, the body of research on red light therapy and hair loss focuses on male pattern or androgenic alopecia, which is influenced by hormones, particularly DHT. But genetics and age can also play a role. Let's take a look at what the studies have found. Is it true that one clinical trial found over a 50% increase in hair counts? It absolutely is. In fact, this one randomized control study was on 44 females with androgenic alopecia, which like I said, is a specific type of hair loss related to hormones that occurs in both men and women. They found something pretty striking. Participants using 650 nanometer low level laser therapy, a type of red light therapy, on the scalp every other day for 17 weeks had a 51% increase in hair counts compared to controls. So laser is one type of light we can use, but there's also LED lights, which can be a safer at home alternative. Here are some fascinating results from a study that paired laser with LED lights for hair regeneration. In this 24 week randomized double blind trial on 100 people with androgenic alopecia, researchers shone red light to just one side of the head. So one side received red light and the other side received a fake light. They showed that the use of the red light therapy from an LED laser device significantly increased hair coverage compared to the side of the head that received the fake light. Then at both the 12 and 24 week visits, they also noticed significant improvements from the baseline in hair thickness 
hair count, hair coverage, and IgA, which is used to assess the severity of alopecia. So while Lumbox wasn't the device used in those clinical trials, Lumbox was third party tested to emit the exact wavelengths used in these studies, 660 nanometers. And as a reminder, if you're in the market for a device that checks every box and fits into real life, I've dropped a link in the caption for you to save $260 on the Lumbox. The device is third party tested for wavelength and irradiance and has also been tested for EMF and optical light safety to comply with the rigorous IEC safety standards which I'm showing on screen here. And it's not just the testing I'm going to rave about. The device has been used by thousands worldwide for healthier hair. Ava here is just one example. So Ava told us that alopecia runs in her family and she found a little patch in the back of her head. For three months, the only thing she did was loom box on the base of her neck every day. And here you can see that she's seeing the thick hair starting to fill in over that bowl patch. So you've seen the results, you've seen the science. But what can you do with all this info today? The first step is understanding what's at the root of your hair loss. And like I said earlier, there are many causes, which is why it's always best to speak with your doctor first, just to uncover what's driving your hair loss. It could be a nutrient deficiency like iron or even thyroid conditions, and these need to be addressed first. So will red light therapy work for every single person? Not necessarily. But if male pattern or androgenic alopecia is part of the picture, the science suggests this could be a supportive tool to add to your routine. And if this is something you're considering, here's how to think about it. You need a quality device, not something that's just weak and untested. And I'm sorry, putting those LED face masks on your scalp is unlikely to work. These masks usually have a really low irradiance for the skin and the irradiance for the scalp is so different. How you use the device depends on the specifications of the device. But if you're using Loombox, red mode is preferable. I like to lie down and place Loombox close to my scalp, usually for about six to 12 minutes per session. And with hair, more light isn't always better. Consistency is much more important than blasting your scalp with light for hours. Just 12 minutes with Loombox can hit that sweet spot. And also don't give up if you're not seeing changes after a few weeks. Like Ava or my brother, it takes months for hair follicles to cycle through the different phases, which is why we've seen best results appearing at at least three months of continued use. Personally, I'll continue to use mine for much more than three months to see the longer term benefits. If you're tired of throwing money at products that don't deliver, red light therapy might be a supportive tool worth exploring. And don't forget to use the link I've dropped in the caption to save over 40% on the loom box. And if you're still not quite sure if red light therapy is for you, I've dropped a link to our free guide where you can learn all about the benefits of red light therapy because there's so much more that you can use your device for outside of just hair health. If you've got questions about wavelength, frequency or results, drop them in the comments. We read everyone. I'll get back to you. Make sure to subscribe for more grounded research-based content on how light can support how you feel, look and show up daily. Thanks for watching.